Here's another pointless, thankless objection I'd like to register. I say it that way because I know you people, and I know your goddamn popular usage slammed the door on this one a long time ago, but here goes anyway. A cop-out is not an excuse, not even a weak one. It is an admission of guilt. When someone cops a plea, he admits guilt to some charge in exchange for better treatment. He has copped out. When a guy says, I didn't get to fuck her because I reminded her of her little brother, he's making an excuse. But if he says, I didn't get to fuck her because I'm an unattractive schmuck, he is copping out. The trouble arises when an excuse contains a small amount of self-incriminating truth. This one is directed to the sports assholes. You are destroying a perfectly good figure of speech. Getting the monkey off one's back does not mean breaking a losing streak. It refers only to ending a dependency. That's all. The monkey represents a strong yen. A losing streak does not compare even remotely, not in a literary sense and not in real life. Here's one that you hear from truly dense people. The proof is in the pudding. Well, the proof is not in the pudding. The rice and the raisins are in the pudding. The proof of the pudding is in the eating. In this case, proof means test. The same is true of the exception that proves or tests the rule. Boy, oh, these things piss me off. Here we go. An eye for an eye is not a call for revenge. It's an argument for fairness. In the time of the Bible, it was standard to take a life in exchange for an eye. But the Bible said no, the punishment should fit the crime. Only an eye for an eye, nothing more. It is not vindictive, it is mitigatory. Don't make the same mistake twice. Seems to indicate three mistakes, doesn't it? First you make the mistake, then you make the same mistake, then you make the same mistake twice. If you simply say, don't make the same mistake, you'll avoid the first mistake. Unique needs no modifier. Very unique, quite unique, more unique, real unique, fairly unique, and extremely unique are wrong, and they mark you as dumb, although certainly not unique. Healthy does not mean healthful. Healthy is a condition, healthful is a property. Vegetables aren't healthy, they're dead. No food is healthy, unless you have an eggplant that's doing push-ups. Push-ups are healthful. There is no such thing or word as kudo. Kudos, K-U-D-O-S, is a singular noun meaning praise, and it is properly pronounced kudos. There is also a plural form spelled the same, but pronounced kudos. Please stop telling me so-and-so picked up another kudo today. Here's another one that bothers me. When they say race, creed, or color, that's wrong. Race and color, as used in that phrase, describe the same property. And creed is a stilted, outmoded way of saying religion. Leave this tired phrase alone. It has lost its usefulness. Besides, it reeks of insincerity no matter who uses it. As of yet is simply stupid. As yet, I've seen no progress on this one, but of course I'm speaking as of now. Here's one you can win some money on in a bar if you're within reach of the right reference book. Chomping at the bit and old stomping ground are incorrect. Some Saturday afternoon when you're getting bombed on your old stamping ground, you'll be champing at the bit to use this one. Sorry to sound so picky, folks, but I listen to a lot of radio and TV, and these things have bothered me for a long time. <laughs>